Even though gelatin is an animal product, vegans don't need to feel left out. Agar agar makes the perfect substitute. Vegan cheese, anyone? To activate agar agar is just a little bit different than gelatin. It needs to be bloomed in water that's come up to a boil and simmered until it turns clear. Agar agar comes from seaweed, specifically red algae. The concept of making vegan cheese is very simple. Take the elements of real cheese and replace it with these five vegan cheese elements. I'm replacing cream with cashews. And tahini, that's sesame butter. And I'm replacing the typical fat in cheese with coconut oil. Extra virgin, of course, because I love me some coconut oil. Traditional cheese also has rennet. That's an acid. I'm replacing that with lemon. Cheese gets a ton of its flavor from fermentation. I'm replacing that with an ingredient that's already fermented, soy sauce. One of the key ways to getting a great vegan cheese is making sure the texture is just right. I'm adding a bit of tapioca starch just to get that stretch. Agar agar is gonna give us great body for our cheese and it's really gonna have the same texture as traditional cheese. I have the base of my cheese, now I just need to add flavor. I'm adding some tomato paste. Every vegan knows what this is. Nutritional yeast. Those roasted red peppers, I left the peel on. This is my spice blend. Garlic powder, onion powder, a bit of seasonings, and some cayenne. That color looks amazing. Smells wonderful, and now I just gotta give it a bit of time to set up. Feel free to make this cheese your cheese. Add any seasoning you'd like, and every cheese needs to be in the shape of a mold. Now, this needs to firm up. Texture is nice and firm. Oh, it smells amazing. Wow, and it cuts just like regular cheese. Creamy and rich in flavor. Whether you're vegan or not, this cheese is a winner.